Okay, I'm going to talk about the engineering applications of nuclear power. When discussing nuclear power, most think of the military. There are many varied uses for nuclear power. We'll discuss the military uses first, and then discuss some of the other ways that nuclear power is used to benefit the world. Military use of nuclear power and nuclear missiles. At the dawn of the nuclear age, the United States hoped to maintain a monopoly on its new weapon. But the secrets and technology for making nuclear weapons soon spread. The United States conducted its first nuclear test explosion in July of 1945 and dropped two atomic bombs in the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August of 1945. Just four years later, the Soviet Union conducted its first nuclear test explosion. The United Kingdom in 1952, France 1960, and China in 1964 followed. Seeking to prevent the nuclear weapons ranks from expanding further, the United States and other like-minded states negotiated the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty in 1968 and the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1996. India, Israel, and Pakistan never signed the NPT and possessed nuclear arsenals. Iraq initiated a secret nuclear program under Saddam Hussein before the 1991 Persian Gulf War. North Korea announced its withdrawal from the NPT in January 2003 and had tested nuclear devices since that time. Still, nuclear non-proliferation successes outnumbered failures and dire forecasts decades ago that the world would be home to dozens of nuclear states have not come to pass. At the time the NPT was concluded, the nuclear stockpiles of both the United States and the Soviet Union and Russia numbered in the tens of thousands. Beginning in the 1970s, U.S. and Soviet Russia leaders negotiated a series of bilateral arms control agreements and initiatives that limited and later helped to reduce the size of their nuclear arsenals. Today, the United States and Russia each deploy more than 1,500 strategic warheads on several hundred bombers and missiles and are modernizing their nuclear de delivery systems. The U.S. Nuclear Triad Since its development during the Cold War, the United States Nuclear Triad has retained the important role of bolstering U.S. national security. America's strategic nuclear arsenal is built on a triad model. Nuclear warheads are distributed among a force of bombers, ballistic missile submarines, and intercontinental ballistic missiles, each with their advantages and disadvantages. Bombers are slow, but can be retasked, have a man in the loop, and can be recalled if necessary. Ballistic missile submarines launch missiles that are less accurate but nearly undetectable when submerged. And finally, land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles sitting in reinforced underground concrete silos carry larger warheads and are highly accurate, capable of taking out enemy intercontinental ballistic missiles in their own silos if necessary. Military ships. Nuclear power is particularly suitable for vessels which need to be at sea for long periods without refueling or for powerful submarine propulsion. Over 140 ships are powered by more than 180 small nuclear reactors and more than 12,000 reactor years of submarine operation has been accumulated. Most are submarines, but the vessels range from icebreakers to aircraft carriers. In the future, constraints on fossil fuel use in transport may bring marine nuclear propulsion into more widespread use. So far, fears about safety have caused political restriction on port access. The USA has the main Navy with nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, while both it and Russia have had nuclear-powered cruisers. The USA had built 219 nuclear-powered vessels to mid-2010 and then had five submarines and an aircraft carrier under construction. All U.S. aircraft carriers and submarines are nuclear-powered. Nuclear power has varied applications in the world beyond nuclear weapons. First is electricity generation. For most decades, or for many decades, almost all electricity consumed in the world has been generated from three different forms of power plant: fossil, hydro, and nuclear. Renewables currently generate a relatively small share of the world's electricity, although that share is growing fast. Nuclear power plants use the heat produced by nuclear fission to generate steam that drives turbines, like in fossil fuel plants. However, no greenhouse gases are produced in the fission process, and only small amounts are produced across the whole fuel cycle. Nuclear fuel can be used in a reactor for several years. The used fuel that remains after this time must be stored and then either recycled to make new fuel or carefully disposed of. 
However, because the amount of fuel used to generate electricity is so much less than that used in fossil fuel plants, it is much more practical to do this with used nuclear fuel than with waste and emissions from fossil fuels. Nuclear power plants can run for many months without an eruption, providing reliable and predictable supplies of electricity. Some 447 nuclear reactors are supplying power for 31 countries around the world. In 2014, the world's nuclear reactors supplied 2,441 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. This represents around 10% of global electricity consumption. Here you can see which regions of the world are leading in the use of nuclear power and where new power plants are being built. Other uses of radioactive material. Well, first is consumer goods. Um, smoke detectors, watches and clocks, nonstick pans, photocopiers, cosmetic sterilization. The common type of household smoke detector contains a small amount of AM241, which is a decay product of plutonium-241, originating in nuclear reactors. The AM241 emits alpha particles, which ionize the air, and allow a current between two electrodes. If smoke enters the detector, it absorbs the alpha particles and interrupts the current, setting off the alarm. Uses in food and agriculture. Some 25% to 30% of food harvested has law is lost as a result of spoilage before it can be consumed. This problem is particularly prevalent in hot, humid countries. Food irradiation is the process of exposing foodstuffs to gamma rays to kill bacteria that cause foodborne illness or foodborne disease and increase shelf life. It has the same benefits as when food is heated, refrigerated, frozen, or treated with chemicals, but does not change the temperature or leave residues. In addition to inhibiting spoilage, irradiation can delay ripening of fruits and vegetables to give them a greater shelf life. Its ability to control pests and reduce required quarantine periods have been the principal factor behind many countries adopting food irradiation practices. Industry. Radioactive materials are used by manufacturers as tracers to monitor fluid flow and filtration, detect leaks, and gauge engine wear and corrosion of process equipment. Medicine. Cancerous growths are sensitive to damage by radiation. For this reason, some cancerous growths can be controlled or eliminated by irradiating the area containing the growth. Water resources and the environment. Hydrologists use radio tracers determine, to determine the passage and pace of pollutants moving through groundwater to assess the level of vulnerability. Radioisotopes are used to determine the age of water, while stable isotopes can be used to determine the source's history, rainfall conditions, mixing, interaction characteristics of related water bodies, pollution processes, and evaporation processes. The results permit planning and sustainable management of these water sources. Nuclear reactors in space. Radioisotope power sources have been an important source of energy in space since 1961. They are a vital power source for deep space missions. Fission power sources have been used mainly by Russia, but new and more powerful designs are under development in both USA and Russia. These are some examples of the many uses of nuclear energy.